But don't look for Republicans or uh, or Perot's party or anybody else to come in and, and fill the breach. Not going to happen. They're just spoilers. All these third parties are just spoilers dividing the Patriot vote. You notice there are no spoilers on the other side. Where do you think these spoilers came from? They belong to the other side. <laughs> they belong to the other side. H. Ross Perot is on record as having made a statement that he never really intended to win. He just wanted to help the Democratic Party. That's exactly what he did. Boy, did he help them. <laughs> That's what Buchanan's doing. Remember the last election? When the, the election was rigged in Arizona and everybody knew it, everybody in Arizona knew it, everybody in the nation knew it. Buchanan didn't even challenge it. You know why he didn't challenge it? He had no intention of really running or really winning, and he doesn't have any intention of doing that now. He just stepped in the pro's shoes to act as the spoiler. How do I know that? Because, folks, I never listen to what they say. I watch what they do. <laughs> and I got to tell you, that Christmas that uh, Pat Buchanan sent out that Christmas card flipping everybody off with the Washington Monument with that pretty little bow tied around the base. <laughs> the Phalus of Osiris. Up yours, he was saying. Laughing at all of you. What a, what a brazen thing to do. If I was Jewish, I'd say he had chutzpah. <laughs> but you see, just me and a couple other people in this old country really understood what that meant. The rest of you had no idea. There's some of you got that Christmas card displayed in a frame in your house. You're so proud of it. <laughs> oh, it's amazing. I mean, it is amazing. The American people are so ignorant, apathetic, and so stupid. I mean, dumbed down that I don't know if they can ever come to and be real people again. I really don't. In fact, I'd have to say that it's doubtful for anybody that's alive ever regaining their sanity and becoming real people again. You're going to have to leave that for future generations. 